This is a tuk-tuk, aka a rickshaw, a bajaj, or the most awesome and sketchy thing I have ever driven. Ever since going to Thailand on holiday last year, I've been obsessed with the things. So when I found out that there was a company in the UK that imported them, I knew I had to do a video on one. This was definitely not done for selfish reasons. Anyway, what you need to know first and foremost is that yes, these are road legal despite the fact that you're not required by law to wear seatbelts. You can only drive one with a full car license and they have a top speed of 42 miles an hour. With the introductions over, it's now time to have some fun. But first, I headed to Southall in West London to see what its inhabitants thought of it. Now we are in Southall, aka Little India. People are gonna lose their <laughs> here. Let's go. <laughs> How nice of you. You like it? Yeah. Jump in. There apparently is space for three people, but I don't quite see that happening. How are you? Join me. This is a free ride. Who, who are you calling, Big? Me or my mum? No, 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 I'm saying oh. this, this wouldn't even have space for oh, 20 minutes. Right Hello. 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 Looks like India. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come in. How are you? Good. You good? Right, let's go, ladies. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. So what are you doing today? <laughs> shopping. I'm going to go with shopping. This is a point at which I would love to know sign language. It's a very good thing to know. And if you do know sign language, then I salute you. Is it before we always use the rickshaw. Ah, really? Okay. Always. We need to use these in London. They're amazing. Yeah, yeah. They're good fun. I'm open, open. Crime watch. Are you hungry? Oh, oh. Huh? Oh. Ice cream. You want ice cream? Okay, okay, okay. So how does this compare to the uh, to the tuk-tuks in India? Oh well, that is a hell of a traffic, you know, the dog, cow, man. Yeah? Cycle, taxi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone comes here, you have to be careful. Ah, uh, yeah. Way, you can drive straight away like that. Hello, uh, could I have one strawberry and one chocolate ice cream, please? I want chocolate ice cream, did you want? Do you have any 70% cocoa? <laughs> Have you got any protein powder? Don't quite know how far I'm supposed to be taking him. Mm. Right, let's get some serious speed going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You like it? <laughs> good, good, good. Hold tight, ladies. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> right, Mahindra, I will let you out here. Sure, Is that nice. okay? Yeah, that would be nice. Excellent. And very kind of you. 20 pounds. 20? 20 pounds. Inflation. Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Bye bye. It's nice to have a nice ride. Wish you, wish you all the best and good luck to him. Thank you very much. All Thank right. you. What a lovely chap. This is what rickshaw life is about, or tuk-tuk life, or whatever you want to call it. It makes people smile, it makes people happy. It reminds all of these old folk of home, and that's, uh, it's getting me right in the feels. I am loving tuk-tuk life already. Hello, I like your bicycle. I like this, how much is it? This is about 5,000 pounds. Your bicycle is amazing. There's a man in a mobility scooter. Maybe I can challenge him to a race. Maybe that's a bad idea. Hello. Yeah, you like it? I tell you what though, the gear change. Oh, my wrist is already starting to hurt. After you, sir. Hello, officers. Oh, I was going to offer you a lift. Are you sure? Okay, I'll be on my way. Or I get a ticket of some sort. Yeah, we're in fourth gear now. So this has four forward gears and one reverse gear. And my wrist, ow, started to hurt. This is so much fun. But at the same time, it is the most dangerous thing that I have ever ridden. And I've had some really ugly girlfriends before. 
With the people of Southall suitably impressed, I was curious to see how easy the tuk-tuk was to drive with basic tuition. To find out, I enlisted the help of my monkey Ethan. He's often referred to as the Robin to my Batman, and if he can master it, then anyone can. I want you to attempt to drive this without any instruction. She so says like a motorbike with a pedal. That must be the accelerator. Wait, no. No, no, that must be the brake. That's a gear. Although that's a brake. That's the brake. That must be, yeah, that's the accelerator. No, that's the clutch. That's a clutch. So the key you're turning is the clutch. No, the pedal's the clutch. Okay, pedal's the clutch. Is that the handbrake? That's the brake. <laughs> Throttle? That doesn't move. Oh, that way. There you go. There you go. Clutch and the gears there. What's that? That's the clutch. Your right foot is the brake, and in the centre there, you have the handbrake. Okay. There you go. Right. <clears throat> clutch in. Twist it. Do the handbrake. There's a lever. Yeah. There you go. Put it down. Right. So you're in first gear. Yeah. Your left hand is a clutch. Your right hand is the accelerator, and your right foot is the brake. Okay. And if, if you want to stop, then put your clutch in, and then use the brake. Look at that, bossing it. There you go, he's in uh, second. I've changed gear. He has, he's changed gear. There we go. We come to a uh, beautiful stop there. Do you there? Can you kill? Oh, or oh, 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 do that. <laughs> <laughs> So the Tuk Tuk weighs about 350 kilograms. Uh, to demonstrate how light that is, I'm going to attempt to pick it up. Hopefully it won't roll over. Oh yeah, look at that. So in the event that you do roll it, you can uh, pretty much roll it back over, dust yourself off and uh, get going. So one of the benefits of having a vehicle so small is that you can take shortcuts. All right, we're going to take a slight detour. I'm sure. This is probably allowed. Yes! This is glorious. You don't need to waste your time cycling or walking. The only things that will get in your way are humans and squirrels. Maybe we can take even Another cheeky detour. We don't need to bother ourselves with roads. Oh, this is going to be a bit of a tight squeeze, I feel. I think we've got the technology, though. I think we can do this. Yes! Good tuk-tuk, yes! Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This is tighter. Beep, beep. Might need to try the other side. Yeah, that's not happening. So the moral of the story is, if you're going to take excellent shortcuts like this, Plan your route before. And here we are. We made a uh, two minute journey into a 10 minute journey. So roundabouts are not one of the Tuk Tuk's strong points, as I shall now demonstrate. It has a tendency to kind of go up on two wheels, as I shall hopefully not demonstrate too much. And it kind of does drift a little bit. Get up. <laughs> I think that's enough roundabout fun for one day. Time to take the tuk-tuk to the great British countryside via the M40. I must admit, this is quite nerve-wracking. You are quite exposed, so it's got a top speed of around 40 miles an hour. Oh, I've noticed that the speedometer has stopped working. It must be that it's just gone around the clock and I'm probably doing about 100 miles an hour. We've got a 198cc engine, four stroke, probably about nine horsepower or somewhere around there. A lot of water, and I don't have windscreen wipers. Well, I do, but they don't work. That mother even looked terrified for me. Thank you very much for your concern. I've had enough already. So to answer the question, yes, you can take it off the motorway, but you need to not really care about your life that much. Oh, I'm glad to be off that. Now we're going to attack some twisty B roads. This is where uh, the tuk tuk comes into its own. It is a bit of a B, 
be road one. Oh, we're heading some beautiful twisty now. I'm going to lock it in the third gear here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I'm just trimming the line there. All right. You like it? Hey? Of course you did. Kushti, mate, yeah. Not down with the children these days. I need to get more down with the children. Kushto. That mini looks enormous next to this. Oh, this is great, actually. This is amazing. It's fresh air. Got no windows, got no doors, got no nothing. Oh, we're going to indicate left. Here we go. Yes. Like a boss. My brief encounter with this quirky little tuk-tuk was 100% awesome. No matter where I went, be it South Hall or a petrol station, it made people's faces light up with delight. And in spite of the fact that I definitely end up rolling one on a roundabout, I can't help but want a tuk-tuk of my very own. That's it, nice. Making the most of the track. Perfect. How good am I doing? Pretty hard, doing pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Straight, that's I'm it. winning. Well, you're not anymore. I'm not what? Front. Come on. We're off the track now.